This is the heart of darkness, Raqqa, eastern Syria, capital of the self-declared Islamic State. It's exactly 18 months since the black flag of the Caliphate was first raised over this once secular city. These remarkable pictures to be broadcast on Channel 4's dispatches tonight were covertly filmed on mobile phone cameras. They reveal what life is like in this dystopian nightmare. The resistance moves around with forged ID cards. This time, they get away with it. But this is what happens when activists from the group, known as Raqqa is being slaughtered silently, are caught. And these two group members, Bashar, age 20, and Faisal, 21, were executed by Islamic State earlier this month. The activists' footage reveals the severe restrictions placed on the four million women living under IS rule in a territory bigger than Britain. They're forced to wear two black gowns to hide their body shape, black gloves and three veils. They can't go anywhere without a male relative to chaperone. Female dress code enforcers roam the streets. Punishments for breaking rules for crimes like wearing perfume or even raising your voice are brutal. <laughs> Women accused of adultery are stoned to death. <laughs> Muna fled Raqqa when ISIS police suspected her of feminist subversion in what she calls her once peace-loving and beautiful city full of good people. In Iraq, 250 miles northeast, there's a vast camp whose residents are relatives of women captured by IS militants. They are Yazidis, a minority whose lands were overrun last year. Here, everyone's lost someone. <laughs> Channel 4 Dispatches follows the Yazidi men risking their lives to rescue these captive women and smuggle them back across front lines still strewn with the detritus of last year's battles. Last August, IS abducted 3,000 Yazidi women and young girls and have been holding them as slaves. Only a handful have made it back alive and their accounts of what they endured are truly horrific. Amal is 18 and was raped by an ISIS commander called Salman and his six bodyguards. She was then passed on to 12 other men. This group of Yazidi men has been planning an audacious escape for weeks. Now they're waiting anxiously right on the front line. Miraculously, across the mountain meadows, 34 women and girls appear. For eight months, they've survived unimaginable suffering. For three days, they've walked with little food or water. They have escaped from ISIS. Their guide, who risked his life to shepherd them out, begins his lonely walk back in. <laughs> 